Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pi Game tutorial series. In this one, we are going to be looking at controller support in Pi Game, which is actually quite simple in Pi Game, but there are not many tutorials on it. So let's just get into this tutorial. So as you can see here, I have this very basic Pi Game set up. And basically all this does is we have a 600 by 600 blank window and we have this cube that can move around on this platform. And when I click, he shoots these green projectiles. Now, currently I'm doing this with my keyboard and mouse and I have my Xbox One wireless controller connected to my PC, but it's not doing anything currently. So as, so as I just said, I have Xbox One controller connected, but I believe this also works with an Xbox 360 controller and it probably works with a Play PlayStation controller as well, but I haven't tested that yet. So anyway, let's just dive into the code. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new list called joysticks and set that equal to a blank list. So basically what we need to do is before we can start looking for controller input, we need to initialize the joysticks. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to come, come here below our run main loop and we're going to go for, sorry. And we are going to do four I in range, and we and in this in these brackets we're going to do pi game dot joysticks dot get underscore count. So we're iterating through all of the through all of the connected controllers, and then what we need to do for those connected controllers is initiate them. So the way that we do that is we just go joysticks dot append joysticks dot append and then we do pi game dot joystick dot joy stick sorry and with the index of i and then underneath that we just do joysticks index negative one, which is basically everything in the list dot ins. Okay, so now that we're initiating the joysticks in the list, we can start looking for input. So we're gonna come down here to our events loop and we're gonna add some logic here. So as you can see, currently this logic is very simple. We're just checking for key downs. If it's an A, then we're moving left and we're not moving right. If it's a D, we're moving right and we're not moving left. If it's space, we're setting this is jump variable to true, so we jump. And if we just do a key up, then we just set is left and is right and false. Also, if we do a mouse button down, then we just call the shoot function, with, which shoots. So let's add another line of logic down here. So, if the, so basically the controls for this are we going to have bumpers as shoot, A as jump, and the D-pad to move left and right. Now you might be wondering why I'm not using the actual joystick to move left and right. And the reason is in my testing that I did, I found that Pi Game is pretty sketchy with the uh, joysticks. And there were some times where it just wasn't picking up the movement. And when it did, it was pretty jittery. I don't know if that's a problem with the type of controller I'm using or if it's a problem with Pi Game. So yeah, we're going to be using the D-pad instead. So first, we're going to go if event dot type is equal equal to joy button down so this is checking if one of the buttons of our joystick is pressed and if it is then we're just going to check if event dot button button so first we're going to do looking for the bumpers so the bumpers um the num so basically this event dot button basically is a number and that number changes based on what button it is so for example a is button zero and the bumpers is button four and button five. So we're just gonna go if event dot button is equal equal to four or event dot button is equal equal to five. So if one of the bumpers has been pressed, then we're just gonna call the shoot function, which will shoot a bullet. The next thing we need to handle for is jumping. So as I said just now, um 
the button for a is zero so we're just going to check if event dot button is equal equal to zero then we're just going to set our is jump variable which is how we jump in this game equal to two yeah so whatever jumping logic you have you just put it in this intent here so we just set this equal to true okay so the final thing we need to handle for is movement and for that we can't actually use joy button down instead we need to check for a new type of event and this event dot type is is called joy hat motion is equal equal to joy hat motion and if it is we need to check the events value and basically what this does is it returns a tuple for because if we look at the at the d-pad there's four buttons there's an up there up down left right so we return a tuple with the values so by default if we're not pressing any of the d-pad this tuple will be zero zero if we're pressing to the right that tuple will be one zero left negative one zero up will be negative one will be zero negative one and down will be one it will be negative zero and then one so we only need to handle on the x-axis so left and right so we're just going to be doing if event dot value and then we index zero so the zeroth element of the tuple and we're just going to check if that is equal to one and if it is we're going to set our is right right variable equal to true and our is left equal to false and if the event of value is equal to negative one then we just do the reverse so is equal equal to negative one we just set is right we just set is right equal equal to false and is underscore left equal equal to true and we just want to also check if this event event dot value is equal equal we just need index zero equal equal to zero which means we need to put is underscore right equal to false and we also need to put is underscore left equal equal to false now we've written all of the code that we need to handle for all of the different situations in our game and before we go ahead and run this, I just want to fix one bug that we, or one error that we will be getting. And that is that we can shoot infinitely and it kind of just looks weird. So to fix this, I'm just going to add a quick cooldown. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go cooldown is equal to zero. And then in our, in our if statement, I just check if cooldown is less than or equal to zero then we can go ahead and shoot and then after we shoot we set cooldown equal to something like seven and then else we just go cooldown minus equals one cool so now we've got everything we need and we can go ahead and run this and obviously nothing visually has changed and i can still use a and d to move around and jump and shoot but if i go ahead whoops and pick up my controller i can also use the d-pad to move around i can use a to jump and i can shoot bullets with the bumpers cool so hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful and if you're able to implement this into your own games, please let me know. I'll also leave some useful documentation in the description if you want to read more about this topic. Anyway, guys, please consider subscribing. I have a lot more cool Pygame tutorials and devlogs coming soon. And I'll see you guys all later.